Hey everyone, it's Lane with Techno Maverick, and today I'm going to be showing you some incredibly useful desktop utility apps for Windows 10. Now these applications are utilities that I use literally every single day to keep me productive. Let's jump in and take a look. Okay, the first application that I want to show to you guys today is called Window Blinds 10. Now essentially what this is, is it's a theming engine for Windows. So it's able to theme a number of things. You can see that the taskbar has been themed and then also the title bar of this window as well as the entire border of this window has been themed by this application. So we have different uh, colored uh, title bar icons here. These look a little bit more akin to what Windows 7 looked like. You have the kind of default theme for Windows 10 and then a number of others as well. In addition to the themes that you see here, you can go ahead and modify each of them. There are a number of different options. And then you can also download additional themes from the web. So this does a number of different things to customize this. There are some animations, again, look a lot more like Windows 7 down here. And then it changed the start menu icon as well. So this application is fairly, uh, has some fairly advanced settings as well. You also have the option to change the action that's taken when you double click on the title bar. That would normally maximize the window, but I have it set here to where it actually just minimizes that into the title bar itself. And that'll work for uh, any uh, Windows 10 executable file. This particular application does cost $10 from Stardock if you buy it alone. The next application that I want to show to you is called Fences and it's by that same company, Stardock. I found it to be very, very useful. So if I go ahead and double click on my desktop, you'll see here that there are some folders essentially right here on my desktop hovering right over the title bar. So when you hover over the title bar of these folders here, they kind of slide open and you can launch different applications from there. You can also put a folder inside of one of these and then you actually have access to browse through that folder without opening File Explorer, which is really nice. Uh, so then again, you can pin any number of applications there as well. Uh, and just want to make note that you can pin modern applications or universal Windows platform apps here uh, in addition to normal executable files. Now you don't have to just have these docked this way. You can actually undock these and they can be set to stay open or to close automatically. That's up to you. You can choose to hide the title or show the title. And then of course you can change the color and you can even set different transparency values for each of your different fences. Okay, the next application I wanna show you here is something that's very important to me because I like to have a nice clean workspace on my Windows desktop. It's an application called Divi, and you can see the icon down here in the bottom right corner, something you can kind of put in the taskbar if you want. When you click on that, this little window opens up and you get this animation when you scroll over one of these sections. Now what that's actually doing is if you click and drag, you can create a section and that application that's currently active will actually resize and snap into that position. So just to show you what that looks like again. Now you can also set a keyboard shortcut to bring this up so that that's easy, easier to access. And then you can also create shortcuts that will allow you to resize applications. So for example, if I hit Alt, Shift, and F, that will resize the application to basically a full screen view. If I hit Alt, Shift, and Up, then it resizes it to a center view. So this is something that you can um, basically create any number of different uh, sizes for your applications so that you can easily resize them very quickly. This also makes it very easy to organize your desktop if you do have multiple applications that you want to be accessing at a single time and perhaps you have more than two so just snapping two applications left and right might not be enough. Before we move on to the last application, I want to mention that my video coming next week is going to show you some very useful keyboard shortcuts in Windows 10 that most people do not know about, but they're things that I actually use every single day. So make sure to hit the subscribe button on the screen or down below if you want to be sure that you don't miss that. 
Okay, this last application that I wanna show you is very similar to the last one called Divi. In fact, it can do basically the exact same thing. You can go ahead and create uh, custom sizes for applications and then use a shortcut to resize those apps or you can right click and you'll see the option right there as well. Um, so that's a little bit easier for some people I would imagine. The one thing that this does really well that Divi does not do is that it will allow you to use a keyboard shortcut to center a window on the screen. So a lot of times I'm opening up just small windows uh, that I need to access a file or something like that, a little pop-up. And if you want to go ahead and center that application, you have that option. But again, if you want to set custom sizes, um, this is perhaps a better option for those of you that prefer not to use keyboard shortcuts or that aren't used to using that. Because you can just right click on the title bar and then go ahead and resize that window that way, which is very helpful. That's it for this week, but be sure to click on either of the videos on my left if you wanna learn some more productivity tricks for Windows 10. In case you don't have annotations, you can click on the links you find in the description below.